in the east somewhere, and, and, and now you're in Boulder City, Nevada, following Brennan. What brought you here? Well, I had met the test the society imposed. That is, everything that people said I should do, my parents, my friends, and so on, to get along in this world, uh, in terms of success, you might say I had done. But the problem was, I was not happy. Mm. In fact, I was desperately unhappy with all of this going on. I had reached the point of literally breaking down in life because I had amassed all of this ability and a certain number of material possessions and so forth, but inwardly I was uh, in conflict. About that time, a book of Vernon's appeared on the scene, and essentially Vernon offered an alternative way. He said to me, there is a power higher than thought, and if you are a serious person, a serious student of the truth, you can discover that power for yourself and utilize it in a practical way in your own everyday life. Thank you very much. Mm, very interesting. Would you describe Vernon as a, uh, just a wise man, a prophet, a new messiah for the coming age? How, how would you describe him? He's a wise man and he knows the truth and he tells it without any uh, sugar coating. It's something that is not of this world. It's something that you can't find everywhere. Would, are you saying he is not of this world or, or what he's teaching is? The teaching is not of this world.